Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. It's a beautiful, beautiful mid-April day. I'm out on my local lake. The conditions can't be any better for being outside doing something, but again, with bluebird skies, high pressure, it's not always the easy day to be out fishing. I've been chatting it up with a few folks out here. They're having a tough time, and I not only know that the blue spurred skies and high pressure is doing damage out here when it comes to the challenge of fishing, but it's also the fact that we've got water temperatures now about 69, 70 degrees. Folks, the spawn is on. I've been cruising the shallows on the way out to this little real quiet pocket here so I can talk to you folks, but these buck bass are on the beds and the big mamas are cruising the shallows. I've been seeing the big mamas cruising around, but they're not on the beds yet with those buck bass. They're just kind of fanning their tails, making the nests, not really heavily guarding. If anything, they're real spooky when I'm pitching things to him. So I gave him a little test shot with a bait or two and it's going to be tough fishing today, folks. So I'm happy to be out regardless. There's always a bass to be caught. It's five o'clock. It's a little after five o'clock in the afternoon with the sun dipping at about 745. So I've literally got barely three hours to fish. So what we're going to do today, hopefully will be catch some bass on what is mystery tackle box month of April. Surprised you? You didn't see that coming unless you read the description in the title. But here we go, folks. We're going to break this open. We're going to take a look at what's inside and the very first First bait out of the box is a good one. It's actually a great one. Maybe later, because the sun's gonna dip as the sky gets a little darker. There's an I'm a square bill that's a red craw, bright red craw, shallow diving square bill. So this water is real clear, the sun is really bright. As the sun dips and the sky darkens, that bright reddish color is gonna be a good option when the sun dips a little bit. That was a more natural pattern, a bluegill pattern, cropping pattern, maybe a more translucent pattern. It'd be a great time to throw it pretty much this time of the day, but I'm gonna wait. So that's gonna come on a little later when the sun dips. Second bait out of the box. Now this one I could throw right now, and this is not a cold water bait, folks. There is a Strike Pro. That's a Strike Pro Montero suspending jerk bait. Pearl, a classic pearl, somewhat translucent with a bright, it, it looks, pink i think it actually is a pink belly on that bait so we got a pink bellied bone colored translucent jerk bait we're going to throw a little light breeze super clear water just give it a faster twitch and give it a shorter pause guys they'll eat us jerk bait all year long so i'm excited to throw that next out of the box I don't know if you saw my last video on a mystery tackle box slam unboxing attempt routine. I got another spinner bait. So this one's Zorro. So this is the Zorro Bango, the Bango Blade spinner bait. Just a classic 3 8 ounce. And it's white chartreuse with a gold willow and a little itty bitty silver Colorado. Perfect spinner bait. It's a little bit barely stained. It's probably pretty clear, but that color is going to be absolutely perfect with a breeze. I think I'm going to be in good shape. Hopefully snatching one up with the spinner bait. All right, the next one coming out of the box. We've got a rig walker. This is the rig walker swim bait. A really great size, real natural pattern swim bait by River to Sea. Pre-rigged. So basically you're tying this on, you're throwing it out. Again, with all these bass cruising up in the shallows, that's going to be an absolutely awesome natural pattern bait to imitate any of these little minnows, any of these little small small type of bait fish that I have in here. Don't have any classic shad bait running around here, but there's no doubt any one of these bass will be interested in eating anything that kicks back by their face up in the shallows. So there we go. We got the rig walker by River to Sea. Here it comes. We got another soft plastic by Catchco coming on out. This is their Pro Series. This is a great, great worm for a shaky head. A little bit larger size drop shot option. Check this out. Kind of a green pumpkin, black fleck. It's got an orangey belly. It's got a little taper narrow tail to it fattening out to the bottom so this is going to got a lot this is going to be a great bait for today that's probably going to be the one bait that i'm pretty confident i can get something on so there's a catchco soft plastic ready rig up on a shaky head and or a drop shot and or a little texas rig easily rigged up with a light texas rig that would be a great option no doubt all right folks one more little piece of terminal tackle there's no question these must add hooks are great so this is the ultra point big mouth hook four ot extra wide gap senkos flukes you name it guys you can do anything you want with those mustad hooks and i got three of them so we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do to rig those up most likely a fluke most likely a senko i'm gonna both basically tie that on and be able to have both options ready to roll so folks glad to have you let me get at it like i said i only got three hours so it's time to get fishing here we go all right folks i'm going to start off pretty finessey with this water being pretty calm back here in the pocket and these fish being up shallow here comes my famous drop shot so i got the drop shot hooked up with a eighth ounce tungsten lead cylinder style to go through the cover pretty good i've got a one-aught worm hook 
and that's tied to the five pound test fluorocarbon. Guys, don't think I'm crazy. I'm telling you, the lower weight you can go and the better you can manage it with a real smooth drag on a real like a Shimano Stratic 2500 and a medium light drop shot rod like the Luz Drop Shot Special. You can manage five pound test and you'll get that many more bites on a pressured body of water with clear water. So let's throw that out there, see what the drop shot can do out here in my local lake. I just got bit on my very first cast with this catch go bait. It got it all, all wound. It made me think I want to make want to get a little bit bigger hook on there, but let's see if we can get that fish to eat again. <laughs> okay, Ketchco, saw plastic out of the Mystery Talk Box, strikes first blood. That's about my, I'd say my fourth cast. Got a couple nips, not a huge one, but there it is. Oh, and he's in the boat. Well, you can't always get the big ones, but you can always catch a fish on finesse. So there's the drop shot fish, and that was on the catch co soft plastic out of the mystery tackle box so i'm one down so i'm just gonna keep going i've only got three hours so there it is fourth cast in on a drop shot can't can't beat that so all right we're off to the next one let's see what i pull out next stay tuned all right folks it's jerk bait time let's go ahead and cover some water let's get this pearl translucent pearl color with that bright pink belly out here see if we can uh, get the attention of some of these bass up here in the shallows All right, so I'm throwing this on a uh, medium power, moderate action, what ultimately is a crankbait rod by St. Croix, six foot six. Uh, great for jerk baits too. It's got a real soft tip, gets a lot of action out of the bait. 12 pound test fluorocarbon with a medium spe speed old school quantum smoke reel. So let's get at it with fast twitches and short pauses. Hopefully we'll get something to bite up here in the shallows. That is virtually right where I caught that drop shot fish. That's so funny. Another dink, but there we go. I got another fish on the mystery tackle box bait. So how about that? Two for two, virtually by the same log. I knew there was some fish back there, but check it out. Jerk bait fish in 70 degree water. Huh, who would have thought? I hope you would have, because I'm telling you, jerk baits all year long, like I said. Well, there's a dink on the jerk bait. I'm two baits out of the mystery tackle box in. I've already got two fish. You know, on the way out here, I was talking to a handful of people and they said, it's been tough. A lot of guys are like, nothing, skunk. We haven't caught a thing. I've been out here for probably 10 minutes and there's at least two fish each out of a bait from the mystery tackle box for the month of April. That is pretty cool. You guys can probably imagine what I'm pulling out next. Here we go. Stay tuned. Yep. If you guys guessed it, you were right. There comes a the spinner bait. A little bit of a breeze. They're, uh, if reasonably, reasonably active, at least the dinks are. I hope it's not a dink fest, but folks, we're trying to catch a fish with every bite, with every bait out of this box. Say that three times fast. Bait out of the box, bait out of the box, bait out of the box. Not too bad. But try this one. I want you guys to say this three times really fast if you've never done this before. Say toy boat three times really fast. Go. Can't do it, can you? Toy boat three times fast. Say it fast. Can't do it, can you? Didn't think so. That's a tough one. Challenge your buddies, challenge your family, challenge your friends. That's one of the hardest ones out there. All right, here we go. Zorro, spinnerbait. Time to throw that on. Stay tuned. All right, folks, I've been chucking that uh, spinnerbait around for a few casts here. I'm just not feeling it. You know, I've got a little breeze, but I've got really clear water. And I've got chartreuse white. I've got a big gold willow blade, and I got a bright, bright sun. So, you know, if that was a more natural pattern, just a solid white, maybe a smaller silver blade I could burn around some of these shallow water fish, I might feel a little more comfortable, but I don't have a lot of time, like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and ch switch up, get that river to sea swim bait on, a real natural pattern, and cruise it to the shallows, see if anything wants to bite. All right. 
there it comes pre-rigged so i'm going to put it right back on that same exact rod and reel i took that swim bait off i'm uh, sorry that spinner bait off on so just 15 pound test on a medium seven footer let's see what we can do very well packaged bait here it's my first feel of this bait it's really really a nice dense soft plastic the trash from blowing away check that out Beautiful bait. Ooh, that wind's starting to blow too. That's kind of a good thing. All right, let's uncover that hook carefully. There we go. Oh, mega sharp. Okay, good deal. Looks good in the water. Let's see if it looks good enough to a hungry bass. All right, folks, I am way, way back in this cove and it is way, way shallow. So I'm still chucking this swim bait around. It's actually moving through the shallow water pretty well. So I'm gonna be chucking this for a few more casts and see if I can get any of the fish, which I know are back here because I saw them. It just, there was a handful of guys back here when I came through. I just was doing a little reconnaissance and I saw, I saw the fish. So I know they're here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this a few more casts, like I said, and then break out that square bill and see if I can bump into a couple stumps and uh, beat up against this bank a little bit more. All right, folks, I'm putting up that swim bait. It's time to break out the square bill. The sun's dipping behind the, uh, behind the trees, and it's just getting dim enough for me to feel comfortable throwing that bright red craw, that actually kind of dark red craw square bill. So let's get up against the shoreline here and beat the banks in the shallow water and see what happens. So I am trying to hit the bank. I mean, I am going right at the bank with this square bill. I'm trying to hit every little piece of cover I can. It's pretty much the four by four of crankbait. So you want to make this thing deflect. You want to make it bounce in the cover, rip through the grass. Not really any grass up here, but there's dead grass stalks from last season. So I'm tearing through pretty much everything. And that's where I saw the fish. So those fish are up shallow. If they're going to react to something, this square bill will be one of the good options to do it. All right guys, getting a little painful. It's tough out here. It's always been a tough lake to fish power, power bait. So that square bill didn't get a bite and it's really getting dim. I've got no sun behind me over this little hill. So it's time to break out the uh, extra wide gap, big mouth, mustad bait. And I'm gonna tie on a, tie on a Texas rigged weightless fluke, zoom fluke with it. So let's get that rigged up and see if we can get something really subtle in front of these bass. All right, folks, I threw that fluke around for a little bit and nothing. I'll tell you what, it's a tough bite. Three hours of fishing with the sun dipping. It's not a not an easy gig. So figuring fish out in these conditions is not always easy. Sometimes it takes a little more than three hours to get them dialed in. So I'm going to get back over here by the boat ramp. I'm going to hold on to the trusty drop shot and see if I can get at least one more fish and keep it for me in a two-dink day. So hang tight. Oh, guys, I got my sign out fish right at the boat on the catch co worm on my itty bitty little drop shot rig with some five pound test guys it's not not a super dink but at least it's a fish to end the day folks i'm telling you what sometimes it's just like that real real tough fishing this time of year they're either on the beds they're either biting or they're not but you just got to get out and you got to work every angle you've got and i had an angle to work with the mystery tackle box for the month of april a real good one just
just wish I had a little more time to work some of the baits out. And folks, remember, as always, you look down in the description, you've got a $10 off your first month subscription code. It's YTF. V YouTube fishing vids. Use that code, get $10 off your first month subscription to Mystery Tackle Box. It's a great, great option. So folks, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. And until we meet again, over and out. Okay, folks, I couldn't put it down. I had to keep fishing because I had a couple good bites and I got myself a better fish. So I'm glad you guys are sticking around for one more drop shot fish. Maybe, maybe more. Who knows? I got a little bit of light left, but look at this beauty. Thank you, Ketchco. Whoa, that's a great jump. <laughs> guys, persistence counts. I'm telling you right now, a drop shot on pressured lakes, a Ketchco worm out of the mystery tackle box. Can't go wrong. So folks, again, I appreciate you joining me. And thanks for sticking around for one more fish. Over and out.